Hi everyone, this is Theo from PunkerBlocks.com. Today's video is sort of a continuation of the video that I made yesterday where I showed you the sketchbooks that I filled up in 2016. Today I'm going to show you the sketchbooks that I'm going to use in 2017. These are the sketchbooks that I will be using this year. I try not to use too many sketchbooks at one time because it can be quite a challenge to fill them all up especially when the sketchbooks are quite thick so let me show you the first one this is a Claire Fontaine watercolor sketchbook it has 120 pages I started using this sketchbook in March 2016 and I have only filled up around 10-20% so I still have a long way to go what I can tell you is I do not like this sketchbook. Now the paper is 180 GSM. The thing is the paper texture is quite random. On some pages it can be textured, on some pages it's smooth. For example here it's textured on the left side, it's smooth on the right side. And when I flip to this page it's textured on both sides. But when I flip to this page it's now smooth here and textured here and here it's smooth on both sides so it's quite random it's the way they um, bind the paper so I don't like that this is very thick and it's going to be quite a challenge to fill this I don't use this that often but I will try to draw as much as possible so that I can fill this up now this is going to be my main sketchbook for 2017. This is the Kearns and Papier's sketchbook. I think this is a German company. There are 120 pages in this sketchbook. The paper is 160 GSM and the paper is made of 35% cotton. This is a cloth bound hardcover sketchbook that comes in many different sizes. I like this large format because it allows for a lot of space to draw. And this size is quite similar to the Cardi paper sketchbook that I have. So this is around 21 cm by 25 cm. I like this because if you draw on a single page like this, it has enough space to draw on. If you want to draw a lot of details, you can do so. And if you want to draw across the two pages, you have a much larger canvas to work on. And this can be uh, quite satisfying to draw on and to look at when your sketch is completed because a larger piece of artwork usually have more impact if they're drawn well, of course. Now this um, is the first sketch that I drew in this sketchbook. It was drawn during the sketch walk last month in December 2016. This is the central fire station here in Singapore. It's no longer being used as a fire station. It's now actually a gallery. Or part of it is a gallery. And this is the second sketch. Because there are 120 pages in this sketchbook, I am not confident that I will be able to fill this up this year. I mean, for the Cardi paper sketchbook that has 80 pages, I took one year. So with a sketchbook this thick, it's going to take me a long time. And this is just one of the three sketchbooks that I plan to use this year. Now the paper quality, so far it is quite good. I like the cold press texture and it's able to lay flat so um, this is good if you want to draw across the pitch gutter. There was a viewer who asked me a question uh, why don't you review more sketchbooks and the reason for that is because I like to use a sketchbook completely like I want to fill up the sketchbook before I put out any review because it is only when you fill up a sketchbook can you really know how good that sketchbook is because sometimes with pages, with paper, there can be quality control issues. For example, in this sketchbook, um, just now I told you that there are some texture problems with this sketchbook. And also when you use the sketchbook for a long time, sometimes the stitching may come out. I like to use the sketchbook for a longer period to see how durable they are. Sometimes the corners, they can get dog ear or they can just 
just spray open for whatever reason and sometimes the stitching if you open them too often sometimes the paper stitching the signatures that can actually separate from uh, each other so these are things that can or may uh, present themselves when you use the sketchbook for longer periods of time but not when you use just a few pages of the sketchbook so this is um, going to be a challenge I really like this size and the third sketchbook is this Strathmore 500 series mixed media journal they use 100% cotton paper in this sketchbook and there are 64 pages this is almost a four size so this is quite a good format however I'm not a big fan of drawing in portrait mode I find it quite challenging sometimes I'm more used to drawing in landscape or at least 4x3 format so drawing in portrait it requires a different kind of thinking and a different kind of uh, composition but it's challenging and I think one uh, advantage of using different types of sketchbook is you challenge yourself because of the limitations of the sketchbook when you are presented with a portrait format you can only draw in that sort of format it will challenge you to play around with composition and that would help develop your uh, technique and also some of your skills and your interpretation so for me it's quite a challenge to draw in portrait mode the paper quality is quite good i mean it can handle dry media exceptionally well it can also handle wet media for gouache i think it's not going to be a problem for watercolor i am not too sure about watercolor i actually prefer to use watercolor on watercolor paper i mean this paper is very high quality but somehow I feel that the watercolor it actually uh, sort of sinks down into the paper and gets absorbed too much so it doesn't travel as much I would need to use it more to find out if that is true but for pen and ink work for pencil I think this sketchbook is excellent it's 5 out of 5 star ink works really well on it and if you want to use markers well the paper is actually 200 gsm thereabouts so if you use markers it's going to bleed through but the look of markers on this paper is going to be quite uh, good the paper texture is actually uh, sort of like fine grain so this is actually marker on this paper so the paper because it's cotton is going to absorb a lot of water and if you use marker you can use up your marker quite quickly so yeah i'm i think i started this sketchbook in 2016 yep so this was drawn on the first day in 2016 and i took one year to fill up almost half of this sketchbook so i have about 60% more to go I will let you know how good this sketchbook is when I fill this up and these are two more sketchbooks that I'm struggling to fill up this is a hardbound sketchbook heavyweight but it's meant for dry media it can handle ink but it's not the best sketchbook for ink I find it um, I don't have a particular affection for this sketchbook even though it's quite well made so I struggle to fill this up this is good for dry media not for water based media not for watercolor the paper weight is 114 gsm and it's quite thick and this is a sketchbook that you might have seen in some of my videos a lot of people ask me what is this sketchbook this is the Constantina sketchbook I'm not sure if this is actually the brand or the name of the company there is no other information in this uh, sketchbook 
it's not easy to find online because there is not a lot of uh, clues oh this sketchbook is called note on a book so perhaps Constantina is the brand of the company as you can see this is a really thick sketchbook I only managed to fill up 5% thereabouts so it requires a lot of discipline to actually fill up a sketchbook like this if you draw daily even if you draw daily on one page a day you will not be able to fill it up so let me take a look at the first sketch that I drew so I bought this in 2015 and I haven't used it since then because it's quite daunting to use this book there are so many pages and it's very difficult to bring this sketchbook out because it's so thick it's very heavy to bring this sketchbook out now the paper is quite nice sort of um, there's sort of a cream color very light cream color to it it handles ink very well but it's not uh, good for water medium even though you can apply some bright light washes but once you add water to it the page will start to buckle quite drastically quite significantly because this sketchbook is so thick it can be quite discouraging when you know that there are still a lot of pages left to fill up so these are the sketchbooks that I'm going to use this year hopefully I can fill them up by the end of the year if you want to get any of the sketchbooks that I've mentioned check out the links in the video description below I would recommend the Kunz and Papier sketchbook because the paper quality is really nice even though the paper is actually quite thin at 160 GSM but the overall look and feel of this sketchbook it's really uh, really really nice the other sketchbook I would recommend is the Strathmore 500 series mixed media journal this is an excellent sketchbook for pen and ink all sorts of dry media if you want to do water based media on this sketchbook I think you can do so as well but I'm not too sure how good it is for watercolor the overall construction the build quality of this sketchbook is very nice too now the downside uh, or one thing to note is this sketchbook it doesn't open flat so it's not possible to actually draw across the page gutter unless uh, you want some distortion around the gutter and as for the Carnet Devoid sketchbook by Claire Fontaine I would not recommend that because of the way they mix up the paper texture in the sketchbook so that is not something uh, they, they should do so that's all for my video today I hope this is helpful if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below if you have just bought a sketchbook let me know what you have bought in the comment section too thanks for watching see you in the next video bye